In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to do a private print job to a HP photocopy or printer or uh, job storage. So once you've got your document that you want to uh, print to the printer, it can be any document, PowerPoint, PDF, um, Word doc, whatever it is, um, simply just go to your file menu and print. And if you choose the printer that you're looking for, um, go to properties and you'll find you've got a bunch of tabs here. If you go to the job storage tab, um, you're gonna see on the left hand side all the types of job storage or private printing you can do. If you don't see any tabs at the top, then you need to go on the back end of your um, printer driver to ensure that it is enabled. And if it's not available to be enabled, then you possibly need to change the driver. Um, but majority of the HP printers and photocopiers do have this function. So, um, there are four functions that I mentioned. If you click on each function, you can see that the paragraph changes at the top and that'll explain to you what type of private printing or job storage it's gonna do. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm gonna do a store job and a store job means that when I print it to the um, HP printer, it's gonna stay on the printer and it won't delete. So these would be things like, um, leave forms or HR forms that maybe a lot of the staff need to use and constantly need to keep printing. They could be quote templates, um, anything that you find that your company continually reprints, then um, that's a really good uh, option to, to use for, for your company. Um, if you uh, choose the pin to print option here, you, that means that you will need to know the pin code to release the document. So you may um, want to use this more for something like private printing and payroll. This is probably where you'll use more of a personal job where it will delete once you print it. So um, I might put my code in, it'll, it'll print directly to the printer. And as soon as I put my code in, it'll, it'll print um, from the printer and it will also delete. So it's only going to print when I actually reach the printer. For this demonstration though, we're just going to continue with the stored print. I'm going to have um, no pin on it, so that means anyone can access the document. It, over to the username here. The username usually defaults to what the computer name is, so I'm going to customise it. I'm going to, I'm going to make this a HR form. Um, if you go down to the job name, um, this is obviously what the file is called, so you, the document. So I'm going to put this as a leave form. Um, so if you go back up to username, this is the folder that you're going to want all the documents to, to go under and you're going to see in a minute what, what, what happens when you go to the printer. Um, if you go to um, this section here, sometimes this can be ticked when you first print a job. If you untick it, then um, that's not going to um, happen display a job a print job when you go to press print that actually pops up in the background and shows you the job ID and it's really not required so just untick that so um, I'll press OK and then now that I'm happy with that I'm going to press OK and that's now actually been sent to the printer and it's storing on the printer so nothing will actually physically print out it's going to stay on the printer and I'll take you to the printer now to show you what happens now that we've come over to the printer, we're going to retrieve the um, job that we've just printed to it um, from the printer. So on the newer HPs, it has a retrieve from device memory, which is this button here. On um, some of the older style printers, it says job storage. So if we click on retrieve from device memory, we can then see um, I've created a folder called HR. And then I've also created a form called uh, a document called leave form. Um, you just click on the form and then I'm going to retrieve from device memory and it's going to automatically print one copy for me. Um, so that means anyone obviously can come up and print, print a document that's a template and it, they don't have to annoy um, other staff members. And if you can see, we're back to the um, file that I printed to it. You can see that the uh, document actually stays there because I stored it as a job. If I did want to remove it because it might be an old form or we need to update it, you just click on it and delete. And then you'd OK that. I'm not going to OK it now. I'm just going to show you that you can actually click on the form and if you click on the top right hand corner, you can change that you might want five copies and print five copies off. If this was a um, a private print job where I put the pin code on it, then and you and it was a personal job, 
then that would actually delete as soon as I put my pin code in and it printed. And that's how you do job storage and private printing.